All right, so we're here with Matt, and he's filling us in on what we can expect. It is Wednesday. We're heading into the weekend. Mm -hmm. We are. I'm going to fast forward us. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of sunshine and a lot of warm weather the rest of the week, and that should continue the weekend. So if you are headed to Homerama, great weather for that. Mm -hmm. Get ready to put the booties on when you have the points. <laughs> oh, true. You know, Good point. Things. Yep. Uh, but we do have fronts on the way. That's going to help drive us down to some 70s next week. We finally have some fall air. Fall officially starts this coming Sunday. After Sunday, We've got some cool downs on the way, so it's coming. We just got to have a few more days of summer. Technically, it's out there. We've got mid and upper 80s all across the area. A little bit more cloudy in parts of Decatur County, Greensburg. We're seeing a couple of those clouds. Also, a few more clouds there in Fayette County. You're looking at Connersville. We've had a little bit higher humidity off towards the east and the southeast, so that's why we have a few extra clouds. The rest of us, we're pretty clear. Pretty sharp distance between some of those clouds starting in Shelbyville and out towards Greensburg. The rest of us are going to have a mostly clear skies for the rest of this evening. Great weather this evening, high pressures and control. It's very warm, it's comfortable. Looking westbound, there are two fronts on the way. First front starts coming in on Friday. It's weak. Also, as it moves east, this high pressure that we have over us is going to try to rip it apart a bit. But there's a small chance that we could get a couple extra clouds Friday evening and maybe a few pop up showers especially west of Indianapolis. They're going to be very hit or miss. If you want more of a front that's going to bring cooler air and higher rain chances, got to wait for the one that's out in California right now. That arrives about Sunday. We'll get some higher rain chances, and those may last into parts of this coming week. We're clear this evening. Temperatures very comfortable, 80s through 8 o'clock, and then afterwards we'll be in the 70s. Tomorrow morning, when you're waking up, headed out the door, lots of 60s. Check with Chuck and Lindsay. They'll show you mostly clear skies. It's going to be a great start for your Thursday. Carbon copy forecast, what we had today, lots of upper 80s and few brief 90s will be in the forecast tomorrow afternoon, also staying mostly sunny. But these fronts are the big weather story moving forward. That first one comes in Friday night. Not everyone's going to get some rain out of it. Small rain chance west of Indy. Better chances for rain come in Sunday and then moving ahead. For, for Friday, we're specifically watching more western and northwestern Indiana towards the region. That's probably where they'll start to start. But when we're thinking about football games Friday evening. There could be a couple showers that we'll have to track. They'll probably start towards Chicago and Valpo, and they may drift a little bit farther south, breaking up over time. That's something that we'll watch there Friday evening. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait really towards Sunday and next week to get higher rain chances. And then we're going to be hit or miss for a while. When we're looking towards Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, there's a good chance that some of us pick up, you know, a half inch to an inch. But remember, we need two to four inches of rain to bust this drought.